thank you very much. That's kind of you. And uh, I'm, I'm happy that you're happy. I'm happy. And uh, just individually, I'm happy. And then I'm happier now that you're happy. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm happy to be here. Basically, I'm, I'm just glad I'm not home. That's what I'm uh, I think I have skunks. Yeah, I think I have skunks, uh, let me explain it, in my yard. I don't, that would be weird that I have. Um, <laughs> I should try to, to not assume you know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, yeah, I think that I have uh, skunks in my yard. I'm, and it's really hard because, you know, I, I'm trying to be respectful of, of, I live in an area where there's nature, which I'm very grateful for. I love the fact that there is still nature, that because we're building everywhere and there's less land for them. So I want to live in an area like that. So I'm trying to coexist with nature. And I, I've, if you've been watching the show, I've mentioned that I have a heron that's eating my fish. Um, it's, you know how rumors spread. Suddenly, I'm talking about a heron problem. Everybody thought I have a heroin problem. And, <laughs> I don't have a heroin problem. I have a heron problem. <laughs> the heron is eating my fish. Um, and again, it's, it's my, uh, not coming into my kitchen eating fish when I've cooked it. It's eating fish <laughs> in, I have ponds outside of koi and goldfish. So the, the heron is eating my fish. I have gophers that are eating all my plants and killing plants. And there's holes everywhere and dirt piles everywhere. But I refuse to, to kill them. I'm not, it's their land too. So I'm letting them just kill my plants. And, um, <laughs> Well, yeah, but, um, <laughs> you know, and so I'll, I'll leave something alone if it's, if it's not going to hurt me or my animals. But it's just a constant struggle. To, it's because it's my house. I'm paying the mortgage. Nobody's helping. You know, I don't see any gophers chipping in, leaving money on my porch, you know. Um, and they're not responding to, shoo, shoo, go away, you know. <laughs> So now, I, I decided there's an area that Lucy, my little puppy, uh, that we all named together, Lucy has found an area and has been very curious about it for a while, and I've never gone down this hill before, and I went down there the other day, and there's a cave down on my property, like a, I don't know how to describe it other than there's like tons of things that have fallen over over the years and bent to create this gigantic, it's probably 12 feet by 12 feet high, and you can't even see what's in there, but you can smell what smells to be skunk. <laughs> Anything could live in there. I don't know. It's thick. It's thick. And, and you know, I'm thinking, Lucy's curious about it already. It's got to get cleared out. So I said, Mom, go down there. <laughs> and, um, uh, <laughs> but, um, so anyway, so I, I, and I'm picturing that it's a family of skunks. I don't know why I pictured like a, you know, mother and father and three little baby skunks or something living in there. And, but who knows how many there are. It's huge. There could be, depending on how they're stacked, I don't know how they sleep, but you know, <laughs> there could be, you know, and then I did some research and they said skunks do in fact live in dens. So, you know, I'm sure I'm going to clear the thing out and find shag carpeting and paneling <laughs> and, um, but anyway, so I've got to get rid of them because, you know, I'll leave the gophers alone, I'll leave the heron alone, but, you know, skunks, they smell bad, you know? <laughs> and if it sprays Lucy, you know, because you think it's bad, when, you've, you know, when you're driving and you can smell something, you go, that smells like skunk, that's nothing. That's a distance. That's nothing compared to when you're near it and you lift a tail and sniff it. <laughs> I'm assuming, and, and um, <laughs> so anyway, so I, you know, I, I'm thinking I, I'm going to clear that den out, but then where are they going to go? Because the yard is completely fenced in, and you know, it's domed, and uh, <laughs> no, well, my yard is completely fenced in. So what I'm doing, I'm setting humane traps tonight, and they're they're putting there's a company that's coming out because they catch them and then go release them somewhere else, and so they're putting these traps out and they're putting peanut butter in them, and. I'm thinking, God, I hope I don't wander in there. Um, I love peanut butter. And um, so anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of them. And uh, you know, we'll see. So stay tuned. Uh, cut to me three weeks later. Name my new skunk contest. You know, so I'll let you know. And yesterday was the last uh, of, the, of the makeovers. I had the LA makeover yesterday. And so the results from the, the so far on the website, it's 18% from New York. 46% for Dallas, 36% for the LA look. So if you agree or disagree, uh, 
go onto the website, you can vote, and uh, really just for the hell of it, nothing's going to happen when you do. <laughs> But if, would it, whatever one, we're just curious to see what everyone liked the best. I'm going to eventually put on there once it, the winner a, against what I dress like on my own and see what wins. But, but it's not like I'm going to go back to one of those looks. So don't think that's going to happen. Uh, and and uh, now Houston, our, our lovely Houston, he's he, what a what a guy he's turned out to be. We have a great staff here, and uh, Houston is out helping people all over the the country. And uh, he went to uh, the Fromness family in Gillette, Wisconsin and help them. Now he's with Linda Walsh and she's in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. She needs her, uh, her drawers fixed. And uh, <laughs> look at that. Big, nice toaster cozy right there. <laughs> I'm assuming that that's what it is. It could be a canary cage that she just has, because they're loud until you cover them. And um, so, uh, so anyway, we haven't heard from him. We don't know what's going on. But, uh, you know, when you get to East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, it's so easy to get caught up in all that's going on. So um, he's out partying. And uh, thank God we have a show. Can you imagine that woman would just have a big gaping hole in her kitchen unless <laughs> we had Houston to go help her? Um, now, uh, we, I keep thanking everybody, but, but I, and, and it's, a, it's a blatant plug for my book, but at the same time, uh, everyone, my book is on the New York Times bestseller list, and it's doing very well. Thank you. Um, it, it debuted at uh, number eight on New York Times bestseller list, then it slipped to number 12, now it's number 10, and I will not rest until it's number six. <laughs> And supposedly, someone, we, they just sold it to Thailand the other day, and uh, now someone wants to make a calendar out of the book. I don't even understand how that's going to happen, because there are 12 months in the year from what I know, and then uh, there's like 200-something pages, 170 pages in this book. That's a bigger calendar, I think, <laughs> to have 170 months. I don't understand it. Um, <laughs> So I guess they're going to do quotes for every month. That's what they're going to do. So, so hopefully there's a calendar. But, but until then, everybody here is getting a free one. That's what we're getting. <laughs>